We have until 10 because what? Because I'm asking to get in the room. You're not even a registered okay, guest. Okay, you're, you're asking to get in the room because of what? Because the hallway smells like smoke. And it's us? It's right around this area. Okay, does that mean it's us? Can you put the camera down? No, because you're harassing. I'm not. You knocked on the door multiple times. I said, please come back. Yeah. I'm feeding my son. Please leave us alone. If you're the friend desk lady, call us on the phone. I'm praising God. I don't need you. I don't like. I'm praising God. Okay, you thank you. We will check out at 11, man. We didn't do nothing wrong, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, then you better start getting ready. Okay, thank you very much, man. You're ma welcome. God bless you. Yes. This is why we do these, to bring awareness. It's a public service announcement. Put up the care in full mass here. Let's explain the saga that just unfolded. This is in an extended stay in, in Kansas City. The alleged Karen here was walking down the hallway. And according to her, she smelled smoke. Now, I think everyone understands the construction of an inn, a hotel, motel, extended stay, et cetera. They're very similar. They have multiple doors per hallway. She decided to start knocking on the door of this one particular room. And the guy says, hey, I'm, I'm feeding my child. Uh, if this is the front desk, can you call us? Um, be happy to talk to you. And she refused to stop knocking. He answers the door. Now, this is the, the other part. Uh, he's now, uh, he has now opened the door, okay? She says she wants to come in. He says, for what? Now, if there's some kind of, I guess, massive smoking going on inside of the room that can permeate between doors and the window and the wall, you would imagine that as soon as he opened that door, I mean, boom, proof positive. We have evidence. Doesn't seem to be the case here. Uh, and obviously, uh, when she did the checkout and to just put that picture up again, this move right here, uh, this is the move that to me indicates the whole motive behind the interaction. It's time for you to go. All right, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it was, I mean, it was nice of her to tell him what time it was. Maybe he just, <laughs> she's want to give him like a heads up. I, I don't know. It was like what you were saying. I don't know how she ended up deciding that his room was a room with the smoke. But either way, if you have a random person coming up to your hotel room asking to get into your hotel room, right. that would be unwelcome under normal circumstances. So the fact that she thought that she could just enter this man's room is already very strange. I don't know. Yeah, uh, extremely. I'm sure that was a violation of some protocol. 